Okay, so I entered a lure making contest. We gotta make a creek chub. This has gotta be fast, fast, fast. I only got like 10 days, so let's go. The body's coming together. I cut the wooden tail off because I want to do that with plastic. We'll uh, cut a slot here and wedge it in there. And I gotta cut a plastic piece right here and a plastic fin right there. And I'm, I gotta redraw these, this because I pull. I found a more uh, detailed image of this fish. So, okay, I've had to be very quick about things. I haven't had time to like film a whole lot of the progress. Normally, I do like a time lapse or something, but I've made a clear fin. In the picture, the uh, the fish has clear fins, so I have an idea for that. I'm gonna carve little lines in this and then do it with the airbrush and then I got still got to carve these uh, details on here and then I got to do two more fins and then we can cut the joint and then it'll be add the weight tonight and then I can paint it tomorrow stop it and hopefully the clear coat gets here on time all right so I've done some carving and see as you can see it looks pretty good now wait look at this side you see how rough and like crappy that looks and then look at this side well, pretty simple. I just took wood filler over this and just rubbed it out. And then I went back and just kind of cleaned it up a bit. It's going to definitely help improve a lot of my baits. There's still some parts i got to smoothen up. i got to sand that a little bit better. But this will definitely help with my baits. Because I like using a chisel and it leaves marks like this. And this filled it in perfectly. So, glad I figured that out. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna fill in this side real quick and then what else do I do? Oh, I gotta drill out the eyes But I don't do it with the drill because I've had that strip out wood before and we got all this pretty carving So I think I'm gonna do that with the Dremel tool, but first I got to find the bit that does it It's this little stone bit. It's shaped like a triangle kind of but it's round. I got to find that first Before I do that. But anyway, we're gonna do this real quick. So And you just work it in there I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and clean it up. This stuff's dry now. You can see, here's the nice side. Here's the other side. It's a little bit better. I mean, a little bit better than it was is what I mean. So I just come back with the chisel. Just get the stuff out. Get the stuff out of there. And I can just take a little piece of sandpaper and clean it up a bit. But that looks a lot better than it did. You can see on the bottom, it's a little rough because I haven't gotten to that part. But yeah, this looks a lot better than it did before. So, I think next step after I finish these last little bit of details is to drill the hole on the bottom and to drill the eyes. So let's do that. After a night of hard work, they're done, they're clear coated, and they're ready to be painted starting tomorrow. All right, big gamer plays. I realize if you scratch the lint, the this clear uh <coughs> this clear. I can't talk. This clear plastic, you can make it look like fins, and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of the airbrush, give it a little bit more color, and then that way we'll have detailed fins. So I just finished up the fins. What I did was I took some of this oxide, uh, what, what color is this? So what I did is I took some of this sunshine yellow. It's a little bit, it's transparent, so it's a little watered down. And I mixed it up with a little bit of just opaque red. And then I took a brush and I just lightly brushed it over this clear plastic, which I had scraped little lines into. And I made these amazing little fish, fish things. Uh, what are these called? Tails, fish tails. As you see when the light hits them, you can see the indented, the carved in part. But as well as the lines of that look really accurate to the fish. I think I'm going to go over. And you see with these two, I let, I let the oxide di layer dry. And they came back with a little bit of red and made some red streaks. I think I'm going to come back and do that with the tail too, so they're all matching. Those look dang good right there. Uh, so this contest is being put on by a guy by the name of Matt Ow. Ow, I hope I'm saying that right. He's a very cool dude. He's on the lure making and painting uh, Facebook group. He posts a lot of cool baits. Here's some right here. Uh, yeah, he was generous enough to do a couple competitions. There was a competition before this. Ah! Yeah, so the competition is been put on by Matt from Matt Ow Some Baits. And yeah, so I'll have a link in the description so you can check him out. 
Ladies and gentlemen, now that the uh, this thing is polyurethaned and the fins are done, all it has to do is to finish painting it. And I got all these new colors over here to paint this fish. Got this blue, got these oxides, got this red to add to it. And yes, yeah, so we're going to go with a base coat of white first off. I got these strips of ribbon off this ribbon from Hobby Lobby and uh, I'm going to be using it as a stencil because you can see right here it's pretty random. I'm going to be using it on a, as a stencil to make a like, random stripe pattern on this thing because if you look on the bait there's these random kind of brown. I thought this would look more natural than just red brown streaks on the bait because it's white right now. They're white. Like you can see right here. The white base coat and I want to put, I just slowly layer detail and detail and detail over it and eventually it'll be a uh, Hopefully a spiffy, spiffy looking bait. Hopefully that's the plan at least. section of the fish. Turn on my air compressor. So the tail's dried, so I want to see how it looks. I don't think the other parts have dried fully, but oh yeah, that looks that looks freaking awesome. Do you guys see that? That looks cool. That looks nice and natural too. That's gonna look awesome. We'll put some copper tone. Oh, we'll put some blue along the belly, some copper tones at the top, and then a little bit of silver on top. That'll look amazing. Yeah. As you can see, I screwed up big time on this paint job. I totally ruined it with that black and that blue. It wasn't going with the yellows and coppers. So I like totally restarted and I didn't really film any of it because I had like two days left of the competition and I had a wrestling duel and I had to go to church Wednesday. So I was running out of time. So I didn't film any of it, but that's how we got to this point. So here's the basically uh, the finished bait. I, yeah, I definitely changed the color scheme a lot from the original picture. The original picture, it was like yellow and had a black stripe. Well, this looks more like a goldfish than a creek chub in all honesty. And I sent in this, today's Sunday, I sent in the picture for the competition. So we have yet to wait on the results. I haven't glued the fins in either. I just set them in there because I wanted to wait until after I saw if I won to glue them in. Because I want to fix the paint job just a little bit on the bottom. Because once I glue these in, I'm going to have to paint over that anyways. So, you know, I'm going to have to wait till then. And also, it hasn't been clear coated yet because I'm waiting on some clear coat that I'm going to get for Christmas. So I got a couple more days before that happens, like a week or two until Christmas. So, that is, here is the lure as it stands. Also, look at those eyes. Pick those up off of Amazon. Those are pretty good. They're not dead meat customized, but they're pretty good for ding dong eyes off Amazon. <laughs> Alright, so the results of the bait making contest are in. But before I show you the winner... The winner I gotta show you all the submissions by everybody so the results of the bait making competition are in congratulations Joe you made a very nice lure very good creek chub thank you all so much for watching leave a like on this video right now uh, look at graph look at graph subscribe now do it thank you for watching Bye.